ever wondered, where do I dump my wastewater in the middle of winter when all the dump stations are closed? Another good fact, how do I get water when just about every outdoor water tap in Alberta is shut off right now? Well, not all of them. But let me tell you how. So I'm at our local forest interpretive center here and um, while we're talking about all this, uh, I thought I'd just show you around a little bit. So no matter what you're doing, if you're just a weekend warrior and heading out to go skiing or snowboarding at uh, mountain resort for the most part you're going to have uh, issues finding dump stations um, and the only way to go around it is plan so the site I use is just search on Google uh, sandy dumps and a whole website I think it's sandydumps.com or something uh, comes up and basically it shows you a big map and then you click on it um, the user interface isn't great, I warn you. Like, someone should just develop an app for it. It does usually have, uh, like, seasonal closures, or if it's open all year round, or if you can still access it, if water's shut off and you can still use it. Another good app is uh, iOverlander. Um, for finding, like, water in sandy dumps, it's hit and miss because there's usually actually, a, there's a lot that don't show up on there because people just haven't found them or and bothered or they found them and didn't bother to put them on there the sandy dump one is a lot better it has a lot more information but uh where the iOverlander overlander one it gets really nice is it has comments and if someone's used it in like the last like if someone's used it in a previous uh winter and it was open like you can look at the dates and if it's like january 1st and they're like, yeah, it's still open. There's a good chance it might be open this year too. Or you'll really luck out and someone had just been there and they put a review on saying it's open. So that, that works awesome too. Looks like they're gonna have a good feed in there. When I first started doing this, um, it was a lot more daunting for me to go somewhere and having to try to find a dump station or something at this point now though um with all these resources i've found and how much luck i've been having finding dump stations i'm not too concerned with it there's a lot of people that do this in the winter and they do have water on i'd say in southern bc you probably won't have an issue finding a dump station um for the most part you should be able to at least find a dump station the water probably won't be on, so dump your black tank and make sure your gray tank is full and use your gray tank to flush out the hose. Um, if that's not enough for you, if you have an outdoor shower, set it up so you can turn it on the water and uh, just spray off the hose that way. I've had to do that a few times, um, but it's not a big deal because I have shut off valves inside my camper too. And then my hose uh, disconnects from the outside. Look at this old thing. You know what? Let's see what the payload is on it. Ah, oh, just how I suspected. Someone took the sticker off. How dare they, right? Oh, I don't get people. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the more so difficult issue which is finding water. If you are in a van and you just haul your water and, well, honestly, if you're in a van and you can just fill your water jug inside a uh, Canadian tire or something, that's not too hard. That's, that's easy. Just go to a Canadian tire, go to a water fill station. You're good. That's indoors. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, I gotta show you guys this first. Cause this is kind of cool and um, I actually know where, in this, in the county that I'm in, I know where one of these are. This right here is a wooden culvert. So 
So we actually have one of these still in use on one of our roadways here. Yeah, it looks identical to this, except it's still in one piece. And uh, it actually still works. It's not separated anywhere. And it's kind of shocking because this is like an ancient. I'm not calling anyone old, but this is old, okay? I'm sorry if anyone's put one of these in. Um, you did, you did good because the one that we have, it still works. So, <laughs> okay, back on the topic. So finding water, that's going to be your most difficult thing in an RV. Um, a great place to start is if you're somewhere where it's usually like only gets down to zero, you don't often see it at the negatives. You might be able to still get one, uh, one of the dump stations uh, that might still have actually water on. But for most places, it's gonna be turned off at those. So your next best bet is check the gas stations. They might actually still have the water on and you might be able to get water there. Most gas stations, heck, most buildings, have a water tap on the side of it. Go inside, ask first. They might charge you for it, but you should be okay. So I'm just gonna say, like gas stations. Uh, actually, another great place. And I have I've tried this a little bit, but uh, Golden didn't let me do it. But if you go to like a car wash, they'd be very likely to have water there, and they might be they might be able to help you out because usually the inside is warm. So I honestly think your best bet though for like finding water in the middle of winter, um, fill it at home or uh, find somewhere around your local town that's uh, they'll let you into their shop or they'll let you use like a hose inside their shop just to fill your water. That would probably be the easiest way. Your other option would be to go to a campground. Um, when I was in Whistler, that's what I did. I went to a campground for one night, filled my water, emptied my tanks. That was the simplest thing to do. So basically what I've been doing around here is just getting, uh, getting water like that from a shop that I know of. And that's been the easiest way to get water. Um, my other option, if that wasn't going to pan out, was going to be, well, I think I probably would have ended up leaving here because, yeah. I, uh, but my other option was to just go to, uh, there's two campgrounds here and both of them do have full services in the winter. One, they do just go around and fill your tank. Um, the other one, they have a water right at the tap working because it's a heated line. And uh, yeah, same thing with dump stations there. Now for dump stations around here, I've lucked out this year. Um, we haven't had much snow or ice. And uh, for the most part, uh, the two dump stations that are open right now, the one has, has a cover over it. So it basically will never freeze over. It's just not a nice dump station. And the other one that is really nice is uh, you have to kind of hope that the snow didn't freeze over top of it. So yeah, I guess I'm the guy shoveling it out every time. But other than that, like this isn't that hard and it's not that impossible. It's a little daunting when you first start and the snow starts flying and you don't know where to actually get water and stuff. Or if you're going on a trip, you have your tanks filled and then you don't do any research and figure out if you can get water somewhere nearby. Like it's just logistics to it, right? So you just have to figure that stuff out and you'll be okay. But I think that's gonna be it for this one, you guys. So if you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one later.